So I wanted to do a video on how to successfully start a garden. This is my, maybe my fourth year with gardening, but this is my first year really taking my time with it. There's a lot of things that I could have done different and I want to share. So the main thing I would say that I could have done different was put squash in its own box. Squash grows huge just as green beans. Green beans grow huge as well. So having it in its own case will do good. The same as collard greens, they need a lot of space and you wanna make sure you're digging the holes big so that they can continue to grow. And that is with corn. When you're doing corn, you kinda of wanna do them, you wanna spread them out so that they can grow more as well. Everything else does great in box. And with watermelon, watermelon grows a lot. So you want to make sure you have a lot of room. The thing I did with my watermelon, I put these out so that it can keep them separated. And I could keep moving them out so it can kind of stay together. I'm gonna put some more blocks to keep it in. But watermelon grows everywhere. That's something to remember. So be prepared to have watermelon all over your yard. Next, I would probably do them in the back. It's great doing bell pepper. Bell pepper grows straight up, so that does well in the ground by itself. Your strawberries, you can put them in a the box. They do very good in the box. I plucked some today. Also, squash. Squash does great on fences. This is kind of too close because it's going to grow huge. See how it takes over? This is zucchini. But then that's the squash. I also have sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes grow a lot too. When you're doing these planter bots, you also want to make sure that you're digging huge holes under the ground as well so that they can keep growing. So with the sweet potatoes, they pretty much, you know, they're growing underground. So I do recommend you can grow them in pots. They do very good in pots. But if you want to do it that way, you can. And so far, these batches together is doing great. It's taking off. I would say with beets, I'm having trouble with my beets with growing. I'm trying to see what's going on. I had it in a pot at first, but I moved it to the ground. It is doing better. And Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts do very good in ground, but you want to keep them protected. The bugs seem to love them. I've been putting neem oil. Neem oil does great with them. See, I have a little Brussels sprout growing. But you want to keep the neem oil on there so that it can grow. Also, lemon trees does great in pots. The same as herbs as well. The soil I use, I get from Woodley's. It's a great natural and professional soil that helps really, you know, with your garden growing like crazy. This is the perfect time to start planting everything. If you haven't started your garden, it's time to go ahead and start planting, getting everything laid out. 